The road to the next American Idol went through the Mohegan Sun today. News 8 hosting the search for the Connecticut Idol. The winner there gets a silver ticket to the American Idol auditions. You did some judging today. I did. Yeah. So did you. No, were I you was here? here. You were here? Boy, are you sleepy. Well, we had, sh <laughs> we had shifts all day. I thought yeah, you had yeah, an early no. shift. Anyway, all right. our Ryan Christopher was there. Do you remember him being there? Yes, I do. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> it gives us a sample of some of the talent. <laughs> It's been so much fun down here today at Mohegan Sun, all for a Connecticut Idol. We're hanging out with the guys from KISS 95.7. We got the whole crew, 300 contestants auditioned here for their spot to try to fly down to Savannah, Georgia, and win that silver ticket to audition in front of American Idol executive producers. So, we're having a lot of fun here, but let's give you a little behind-the-scenes look. This is Connecticut Idol. What will you be singing uh, for us today? I'm going to be singing Black and Gold by Sam Sparrow. Um, Feeling Good by Nina Simone. I you know how I feel. Has anybody ever told you you look like Justin Guarini? Justin Guarini? Guarini. I, I'm not familiar with that name, to be honest with you. With the strength to carry on. Right. We're going to start waving in the background like this. That was beautiful. That was... Who's the first person you're going to call if you make it through to Georgia? Oh my God, all my friends, yeah. <laughs> all my friends and family. Nice. Nowhere to go and no place to call home. What are you most excited about today? I'm most excited to give it a shot. I think everything about this is luck um, and talent. But how come I never do? So Teresa here is 88 and she just said she could take all these contestants. So, <laughs> so what song would you sing for the judges? It had to be you, but it I'm not going to sing it. It had to be you. Da, 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 da. Okay, that was quite the audition. To where you are beyond. Do you have any like unique superstitions or things that you do before you sing? Um, not really. Get a good night's sleep. I'm very proud of her. She sings a lot in the bathroom. You sing a lot in the bathroom? No, I do not do that. Okay, well that's good, I guess. How did the audition go? I think it did. I think it went very well. I wasn't as nervous as I thought I was going to be. I think it went pretty good. Um, I did the best I can do. And you should have a proud mom over here. I'm very proud. Very proud. Very exciting. Fun day for her. What's the first thing you're going to do if you find out that you won the silver ticket and you move on? I won the silver ticket? I'm going to call my mom. Yeah? That's all I'm going to do, yeah. All right. Yeah. Do you want to give mom a shout out too, just for... Mom, love you. Dad, love you. Thomas, I uh, hope I did you guys proud and hopefully I get the silver ticket. And that's what it's all about, gaining that silver ticket tomorrow, 5 p.m. right here on News 8. You'll be able to see our top five. Maybe one of these guys will make it. The Kiss Boys from Kiss 95.7. Gavin, who's a better singer out of the two of you? Oh, well, definitely Walmart, Jeff. This guy's me. He's horrible. <laughs> Can we get a sample? Oh, no, you don't want to. He was, a, he was the lead singer in a band. Oh. No, no, he's, he's false. We lived all the singing for everyone here who came to Connecticut Idol. Gavin. Gavin. Oh, no. Gavin. Oh, no. Gavin. Oh, no. Gavin. Oh, no. Oh, I can't. He, he blew his chance. All right, well, we'll see if he makes the top five. Tune in tomorrow, News 8 at 5, guys.